Because the pacifists are about to succeed in the development, this achievement is extremely important for Marine. In addition, Kazaru is the leader of the Marine scientific force, so although he is lazy and never works hard, he has to come to Punk Hazard to sit here for a while. Now, Kazaru lay on the spacious chair, had a manicure, yawned, and looked at the sky, thinking that it was almost noon, and it was time to get off work. So Kazaru stood up, and when he was about to go back to the house to sleep, he suddenly felt a chill in his neck, as if he was being stared at by something terrifying. But the chill was fleeting, and Kazaru couldn't feel it anymore before he had time to examine it. Well, I should feel wrong Kazaru thought so, but sat down again. A strong man at his level will hardly have something like chill. And once it is sensed, it must be a harbinger of some kind of danger. However, Kazaru was too lazy at 650 anyway, before Marshal Sengoku asked him to come to Punk Hazard, he didn't tell him that he was also responsible for searching, so he didn't bother to move. You guys, go and search on the coast. Kazaru pointed at a group of marines, lazily ordered, and then continued to muffle his nails. Yes, Lord Admiral. The marines took orders solemnly and hurried to the coast of Dressrosa. Dover, who was hidden in the dark, saw this scene. There was a sneer at the corner of his mouth. Kazaru should be aware of some abnormalities, but because of his laziness and conceit of his own strength, he was unwilling to look for the cause of the abnormality. Such a thing, among the three admiral, only Kazaru can do it. Soon, you will regret your laziness and conceit, Kazaru. Dover gave Kazaru a deep look at last, and then disappeared where he was. Punk Hazard has a total of six or seven research institutes, which are all world government and extremely secretive researches. Among them, the number one and number two research institutes are the most secret and important. The number one institute is the world's first scientist, who claims to have more than 500 years of mind in the world, and belongs to Dr. Vegapunk, what it is doing today is the study of pacifism. The number two institute is the second scientist in the world, but from Guy Sa, who is considered the number one, belongs to current. As for Guy's occurrence research, it was declared to the government to be a miraculous and great drug. Now, inside the number two research institute, Guy Sa and current looked extremely angry, and shouted at the deputy who came to report to him. What does it mean to have no research funding? That's world government, world government. You dare to tell me that there is no money, but my research has been carried out to the most critical point. Do you know how much loss will be caused if you stop because of lack of funds? Guy became more excited as he spoke, his lower body turned into a gas-like shape and floated in the air, and his naturally evil face was struggling to heal. My research is the greatest invention in the world. Once it succeeds, everyone in the world will benefit from it. Hug, sorry. Guy Sasama, the deputy was scolded by Guy's bloody head, but there was no resentment in his heart, but his face was ashamed. Guy Saad is doing a great drug research and development that is beneficial to the world, but he can't get enough funds for Guy Sa, the deputy feels deeply self blame for this. Seeing the guilty expression on his deputy's face, Guy sneered triumphantly. What he did was not a great drug research, it was purely used to fool the world government and defraud research funding. What Guy is studying at this moment is a super weapon called, the Kingdom of Death, with great lethality. This weapon is a kind of poison gas bomb. Once it explodes, it will cover the area of an island in a very short time, turning that island into a purgatory on earth in an instant. Such a weapon, in Guy's eyes, is really great, not a shit to cure people. However, even though he successfully deceived the world government, Guy Sa was still very dissatisfied and even extremely angry. Because the world government gave him less and less funds, this month, he even told him that there was no research funding. This is really outrageous. Guy felt more and more angry, and then roared. Don't think I don't know where the government's funds are going, they are all given to that Vegapunk, right? Humph, what pacifist? Compared to my research, it's just rubbish. The deputy's head almost fell to the ground. Indeed, as Guy said, the reason why the government could not provide funds was because it invested all the funds in Vegapunk, the pacifist who was about to complete. Guy saw that his deputy didn't say a word, 
and knew that cursing him would have no effect. The deputy ran away dingy, but Guy still kept his anger on his face, he said bitterly. Wait, world government, when my weapon is researched out, you will definitely regret it. Just as Guy cast a vicious curse on the world government, a voice suddenly sounded behind Guy. Shao Shao ha 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 if you want the world government to regret, a country of death is not enough, Guy saw Korang. This voice appeared so suddenly and without warning, especially the word, dead kingdom, in the words, it almost scared Guy out of fear, thinking that his secret was discovered by the world government. When Kaido turned around tremblingly, he sighed in relief when he saw that the person was not wearing the government uniform. However, when he saw the face of the person in front of him clearly, a greater panic and shock surged into his heart. Heavenly Yaksha Joker, at the same time. Off Punk Hazard, Jack's boat is almost reaching the coast. Looking at Punk Hazard close at hand, and the shore, those marines who seemed to be patrolling, Jack had a grin on his iron mask. He flexed his hands and even held two slender and sharp tusks in his hands. Jack was almost intolerable and wanted to kill to his heart's content, in order to vent the anger and unwillingness caused by that man in Wanokuni. He wants to fight, fight madly, let Marine and the world know his reputation as Jack the Drow. However J.D. Jax, who was standing on the top of the mast watching the wind, suddenly fell off his butt. What happened? Jack stared at Tongaling with big eyes, and glared at the little one. Some mere marines scare you like this. Shao Ai's face was full of fear, and his body was shaking like chaff. He crawled up to Jack's legs and tremblingly shouted. 4.6, Master Jack, it's not good. First just saw Marine Admiral Kazaru on the island. As soon as Xiao Yi's words landed, there was a dead silence around him. Although Jack brought this time, they were all his most fierce and cruel members, but when they were named Kazaru, everyone's face still couldn't help but shrank. As pirates, they know too well what the words Marine Admiral mean. Even if they are led by Mr. Jack, it is better not to provoke Marine Admiral. The silence lasted for a while. Jack's eyes were almost bloodshot. When a small cadre tremblingly axed him next to him, Jack let out a thunderous roar. It must be on. Who do you think Lousy is? Bring the boat to the shore. Punk Hazard, Inside Research Institute 2. Guy looked at the man not far away in shock, rubbed his eyes, and found that he was not dazzled, he said in disbelief. Joker, why are you here? Guy shook his voice, and his body floated backwards unconsciously. Da Flamingo, although the face is Shichibukai who is on the side of the government, Guy Sa knows his identity as the middleman in the dark world, Joker. It is absolutely impossible for Joker to come to him. Dover looked at Guy Sa jokingly, as if a mouse saw a cat, Guy Sa's face showed a smile that made Guy Sa's heart tremble even more. Guy, since the world government doesn't give you funds, why not come to me, how about it? The expression on Guy Sa's face is uglier than crying, although he often curses the world government, but as a last resort, Guy Sa does not want to leave the protection of the world government. After all, the world government is the biggest force in the world. Therefore, even if the Joker in front of him has a special identity and strong strength, he does not think that going to the Joker will be better than the world government. Maybe, they will face the chase of the world government. Guy cast his eyes around and smiled forcefully. Master Joe Joker, thanks to your kindness, it's actually nice to be here, I don't want to. However, Guy Saw hasn't finished talking yet. Eleven it was cold, like a demon's laughter floating out of hell. Ha 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 ha. Guy, you seem to think something is wrong. Dover's slender fingers swayed gently like a doll. I'm not asking for your opinion. Guy's expression changed abruptly. The next moment, he was even more shocked to discover that he couldn't move. What happened? The sudden change made Guy even start to run away, and it was abrupt. He found that his body seemed to be constrained by something invisible. I'm gas. Guy desperately wants to be elemental, but finds that Logia, which has never been profitable in the past, doesn't work at all. Is it hockey? Guy showed despair in his eyes, and looked at Joker who was walking towards him with incomparable fear. Master Joker, don't do this, 
Let's have something to say, okay? Guy begged for mercy Guy likes this person, he treats the strong and bullies the weak, bullies the weak and fears the hard. Once he meets someone who is stronger than him, his bones are the same as his gas, with little weight. Xiao Xiao Xiao, you are not qualified, tell me about the conditions, Guy. Dover smiled contemptuously, stretched out a finger, a very fine thread, and flew from his fingertips towards Guy's heart. Guy's pupils almost shrunk to the size of a needle eye, and he finally saw clearly, it turned out to be thread, and the weird method used by Joker was thread. But after understanding this, Guy's inner panic was even more intense. He seemed to see that he was about to be unloaded by Joker's line, and the internal organs and marrow all flowed out. Ah! Don't, don't kill me! Guy struggled wildly, hissed and screamed. But there is no use at all. I can only watch Dover's line, getting closer and closer to his heart. At this critical moment, Guy saw suddenly remembered something, as if grabbing a life-saving straw, and shouted. You can't do this to me, Joker. You know, on this island, there is Marine Admiral sitting in town. In Guy, I think that Joker is strong, Shichibukai, but facing Marine Admiral, he will be a little bit afraid. Sure enough, when his voice fell, Joker's line paused. Guy was overjoyed, thinking that Joker was frightened by the title of Marine Admiral. He suddenly changed his face and continued triumphantly. I am the government's most important scientist. Guy brags without changing his face. Once you dare to move me, even if you are Shichibukai, Marine Admiral Kazaru on this island, you will not be let go, Joker. After that, Guy stared at Joker confidently, thinking that as long as Joker was not a fool, he would not choose to conflict with a marine admiral. However, the shock and fear he expected on Joker's face did not show up at all, but instead revealed a look full of sarcasm. Guy froze. Isn't Joker afraid of marine admiral? At the moment he was stunned, Joker's line went to his heart again. Hey, stop, stop. Guy really panicked, he started yelling incoherently. That's marine admiral. Joker, Marine Admiral, do you know what strength it is, it is the highest combat power of the government, hello. Ah, don't kill me, Marine Admiral is shit, Master Joker, you are supreme. No, no, the howling like a pig lasted for half a minute. Guy's body was like a falling shot and fell to the ground. He opened his eyes that he had just closed because of fear, and he was ecstatic to discover that he was not dead. But soon, the joy on his face faded, because, he noticed that there was an extremely fine black line in his heart. That thread, no matter if it is elementalized or used any other method, it cannot be removed. Guy saw immediately understood that his future life and death will be in the hands of others. Guy wailed his face, got up, ran to Dover cautiously, and said with a flattering smile. Joker-sama, is there anything that I need to do for the little ones? Although the Kazaru is strong, but the little ones have a way to keep Kazaru from noticing and leave secretly. Afterwards, the difference in attitude between the front and the back, the rapid change of face, even the most vicious villain, will be amazed at Guy's shamelessness. Dover gave the shameless villain before him a sneer. It is precisely because he knows Guy's nature of being bullied and fearful of hardship, greedy for life and fear of death he did not hesitate to use parasite string to control it when he met. Right now, as long as Dover is not dead, Guy Saw will not have the guts to betray him, and will become his most industrious subordinate. Kazaru, which 650 beer, someone will deal with him. Dover's dark eyes flashed with deep light. Under his stature, he left here. After conquering Guy Saw, he has one more thing to go. Guy did not understand what Dover meant, Someone will deal with Kazaru? Who is so iron? Guy couldn't figure it out, but his life was in the opponent's hands, and Joker's words had no room for him to refute. So, Guy panicked, but he chased Dover from behind. Wait for me, Lord Joker, at the same moment. Punk Hazard Coast. Marine, who was patrolling, found Jack's ship getting closer and closer to them, and everyone was shocked. A captain yelled, No, it's Kaido's subordinates, Jack. Hurry up and inform your excellency admiral. Immediately, the messenger ran to Kazaru, who was still manicure, 
without daring to stay for a moment. Your Excellency Admiral, the Herald panted and said nervously, an enemy ship is approaching Punk Hazard. The visitor is Jack the Drow, one of the three plagues. Oh? Kazaru listened and turned over. Jack the Drow? That's a monster with a bounty of up to one billion. It feels terrible to think about it. Um, after the messenger hummed, he felt a little regretful. Your Excellency Admiral said that Jack is terrible. Under Jack's urging, the ship quickly reached the coast of Punk Hazard. Jack's huge body jumped directly from the ship, and the earth made a roar, which seemed to be difficult for his weight. With bloodshot eyes, Jack looked at the marine in front of him sternly, and roared in a low voice. Kill them all for lousy. Jack's men didn't dare to defy the orders of their boss. In addition, they haven't seen the Marine Admiral Kazaru until now. Some people say that it must be the guy who watched the wind just now. Marine Admiral is usually in Marineford. How can it be staying on an island like Punk Hazard? For a while, the tension in Jack's mind was gone, and under Jack's leadership, he aggressively killed Marine. Seeing Jack's power is so terrifying, the seamen are all as earthy. The captain just now shouted, his face was extremely pale, and he roared anxiously. The herald hasn't come back yet? Jack the drow is here. And the other side? The messenger that the captain was talking about was as anxious as him. Your Excellency Admiral. The herald couldn't help but urged, if you don't go, we can't stop Jack the drow's attack. After hearing this, Kazaru finally stood up, stretched his waist, and lazily said. Well, let's go and see the old man. As soon as the voice fell and the herald had not had time to thank him, Kazaru's body had already turned into photons and disappeared in place. Dover walked straight into Institute 1. This is the location of the world's first scientist, Vegapunk. Originally, Dover did not intend to snatch Vegapunk. After all, Vegapunk is too important to the world government. Once missing, the government will definitely go crazy. As for Marine Marshal Sengoku, who was blackmailed twice by him, I am afraid he would doubt himself for the first time. But now, the situation is different. No matter what happens to Punk Hazard, there is an endorsement by four emperors Kaido. Even if Sengoku still doubts himself, there is no evidence or reason to attack him. Sengoku can only target Kaido. As for whether Kaido would be annoyed by it, Dobev didn't care at all. Dover understands Kaido's desire for smile very well. As long as Kaido has not built a strong enough military force with the help of smile, he will never have the courage to turn his face on him. Back to the front. At this time, the number one institute, due to Jack's invasion, transferred a large part of the guard force and went to support it. As for the Marines who were still guarding the research institute, the moment they saw Dover, they were stunned by the unattainable hockey that radiated from him. Pityan Pityan followed Dover behind Guy Saw. Seeing this scene, he was even more frightened and smiled more and more carefully. Where is Vegapunk's laboratory? Dover acts aloud. Guy withdrew his expression, and immediately pleased with a smile. What do you want to do with the rubbish of Vegapunk? If you have any requirements, just ask the younger one. Even in this case, Guy still does not forget to slander Vegapunk, which can be regarded as hate him. But to some extent, it is enough to prove that Vegapunk is extraordinary. Dover faintly warned Guy with a glance, and it was this one that made Guy's gas all over his body almost collapsed. Guy was smashed by Dover's hockey, with a horrified expression, and without a word, he hurriedly took Dover to a laboratory. As soon as Dover walked in, his eyes lit up, Vegapunk's laboratory is really extraordinary, with many technologies that are not available in the outside world. Among them, what Dover cared most was the brand new Wu Tai pacifists who stood high on the ground. HMPH, this kind of thing is far worse than my country of death. Guy murmured softly behind him. Dover's gaze quickly turned away from the pacifist. Even though the pacifists are extraordinary in their power, in the original work, they even beat the eleven supernovas with no power to fight back. However, in the eyes of a strong man at the level of Dover, it is no different from a pile of scrap copper and iron. Where did Vegapunk go? Dover didn't find Vegapunk all the way, and there was no sign of anyone in the laboratory. That guy, 
Guy speculated maliciously, it must have sensed your hockey, Lord Joker, and ran away with his tail sandwiched. Dover's eyes flashed. It seems that Vegapunk is really no longer in this research institute, and even no longer on this island. There was a hint of interest in his eyes. Vegapunk can predict the danger in advance, and can decisively discard everything and escape in time, which is indeed quite extraordinary. Hee <laughs> hee, it's interesting. Dover twitched the corner of his mouth, but since Vegapunk was not found, there was no need to stay here. He shook his body slightly and came to the sky above Punk Hazard. Guy Saw also hurriedly followed, and said with joy on his face. Master Joker, is this leaving? Guy Saw does not want to stay in Punk Hazard for a moment, he is afraid that Marine Admiral Kazaru will find the clues. By then, the news of his betrayal of the world government will be made public. Dover ignored Guy's careful thoughts, his eyes looked at somewhere with a hint of playfulness. Seeing Dover ignored him, Guy didn't dare to complain so he stood aside obediently, and followed Dover's gaze. That is, when he saw the sight there, Guy saw was immediately stunned. Admiral Kazaru, and Jack the Drow? On the coast of Punk Hazard, Jack's pirates have been fighting with Marine. And Jack himself was stopped by a lazy figure with a yellow body. Hey, Jack the Drow, next is the forbidden area of the world government, it's not a big pirate under the four emperors like you, you can go in. The lazy figure is naturally Kazaru, he puts both hands in Kabuto, and said casually. Jack's whole muscles collapsed tightly. He stared fiercely at Kazaru who stood in front of him. Kazaru's casual attitude aroused the irritation in Jack's heart. Even if it's Marine Admiral, Jack never compromises. The aura on Jack's body suddenly became heavy and dull. He landed on all fours, and his already extremely sturdy body became huge again. Hum. There was an ear-splitting sound of elephants. In the next moment, a giant elephant appeared in the same place as if it had walked out of ancient times. Yo-yo, Kazaru tilted his mouth exaggeratedly, spraying amazement at Jack's, King's, giant elephant, zone-like elephant fruit ancient mammoth form, it looks really terrifying. But even though his mouth was terrible, Kazaru didn't even take out the hand that was inserted in Kabuto. Roar. Jack was underestimated by Kazaru, and his heart was even more irritated. Without saying a word, he danced his huge trunk and drew it at Kazaru. The strength is so great that even the air makes bursts of overwhelmed noise. However, Jack's trunk was powerful, but it took a moment. Kazaru didn't know when he was on top of Jack's head. I'm a shining person with the ability of shining fruit, but you can't beat me at your speed. Kazaru said with a smile, and at the same time stretched out a finger to match the smile on his face, revealing an insignificant uncle's temperament. Next, it's my turn to attack the kiss. Immediately, a golden light lost from Kazaru's fingertips, and in the blink of an eye in Jack's elephant pupil that seemed to be cracked, it hit the ladder. Jack cried out in pain when hit by Kazaru's laser. But Jack is a rare zone-capable person, with strong defense and resilience. He endured the severe pain and continued to attack Kazaru frantically. Endless smoke and dust rose up, and the earth gradually cracked under the foot of Jack's thick elephant legs. The name of the drought is worthy of the name. However, no matter how Jack expands the attack range, he still can't hurt a corner of Kazaru's clothes. On the contrary, every time Kazaru's laser shot, he would leave him a lot of damage. Although, after being transformed into a mammoth, Jack's defense, resilience, destructive power, etc. have been greatly improved, but he lost his flexibility. Facing the flasher Kazaru, he was undoubtedly asking for trouble and became a living target shot by the opponent. Over the central area of Punk Hazard, Guy shrank his neck in fear, Marine Admiral was really powerful, and even the three plagues under the four emperors were only beaten. He couldn't help but glanced at the Joker in front of him secretly, muttering in his heart. There is Jack, a tough guy who is delaying time, and he doesn't leave as soon as possible. What are you waiting for? If Kazaru finds out, it will be too sweet. In Guy Saw's opinion, although Joker is terrible, it should not be Marine Admiral's opponent yet, it's almost the same as Four Emperors Kaido. It's just that Guy didn't dare to say what was in his heart. 
His life and death are all in the hands of the master against 660. How can he dare to say that the other party is inferior to Marine Admiral? At this time, Dover withdrew his gaze. Jack is not Kazaru's opponent, it is reasonable. His greatest role is to attract Marine's attention for Dover and let him finish the next thing. I saw Dover sticking out his hands, countless lines that were too subtle to be seen, flying out, forming the shape of birdcage, and plunged deeply into the ground in the center of Punk Hazard, and all the research institutes and important equipment on it were all wrapped in. At the same time, the cloudless and sunny sky was also dark and dreamily, completely concealing Dover's line. Uh, what happened? Guy has a dumb face, now it's obviously noon, why is it dark? Just as daunted as Guy, there are Marine and Jack's men who are fighting on the coast below. Their hands were fighting for a while, and they raised their heads blankly and looked towards the sky. Only then did I discover that a large cloud of dark clouds appeared above the sky, blocking the sun. It's going to rain heavily, someone screamed. But immediately, the cry was drowned in the more violent fighting. On the other end, Kazaru, who was still with a sloppy attitude, and Jack you and me, his expression suddenly condensed. What he looked at was not the sky directly above, but, B. Beg, was the high sky in the central area of Punk Hazard. It's just that the dark clouds there are the entire sky, and Kazaru can't see anything in the densest place. However, he can guarantee that there must be a terrifying existence that he has neglected earlier. That existence is not even comparable to Jack the Drow in front of me. It turns out that you called a helper. Kazaru's always lazy expression disappeared, and he became a little angry and shocked. It's Kaido, are you here in person? Humph? Jack snorted coldly, but he didn't answer. But in his heart, it was also for Joker to create such a huge celestial phenomenon, and he was shocked. If Kaido is here, then the old man is not in the mood and will play with you again. The weight of the four emperors and the drought are not the same level at all. In the face of a menacing attack, Kazaru can deal with it lazily. But facing a real four emperors, he, as Marine Admiral, had to go all out. However, the person in the depths of the dark cloud is really Kaido? Kazaru was a little unsure, he had to check it out himself. But the body was only half elementalized, and the process was interrupted by a machete. Don't forget Lousy, Kazaru. Jack is holding two shorter knives and roars in a deep voice. He had recovered his human form at this time, and his speed was much faster than before. Kazaru's face suddenly became a bit ugly. Although Jack was not his opponent, if the opponent tried their best to stop him, it would be difficult for him to get out for a while. What is your purpose? Kazaru acts, firing several laser beams in succession. Since he couldn't go to the depths of the dark clouds, he made up his mind to solve Jack the Drow first. Jack blocked Kazaru's laser with difficulty, and for the first time against a top powerhouse like Kazaru, he felt tremendous pressure and at the same time aroused the fierceness in his heart. Roar. Jack let out a roar again, ignoring Kazaru's question at all, and rushed towards him. I really don't shed tears if I don't see the coffin. It was the first time that Kazaru saw Jack a brash man who only knows how to run wild, regardless of his strength and weakness. He shook his head, and fought fiercely with Jack again, but his attack was more fierce and ruthless than before, causing Jack to suffer a huge amount of damage in a blink of an eye. But Jack still relied on Zone's strong recovery ability to hold on, making Kazaru feel a little helpless. Over the central area of Punk Hazard, Dover and Guy were all wrapped in dark clouds. Guy Saw's heart is full of unspeakable shock at this time. If he does not know that the huge celestial phenomenon in front of him is caused by Joker, then he is really an idiot. Master Joe Joker, what are you going to do? Guy acts tremblingly, looking at Dover in awe more than before. Buddha ha ha ha. Dover let out a deep sneer, make smile, if there is no sad device, what use is it for you? Smile? Sad device? Dover's words were too informative, and Guy was stunned at once. After a long time, Guy saw realized that the real purpose of Joker looking for him was to make artificial devil fruit smile. Guy couldn't help but shake his whole body. Smile was developed by Vegapunk not long ago. 
Because of its obvious side effects, it was discarded. This research is a high-level secret of the government, and Guy Saw is also aware of it because he is the researcher. And where did Joker learn about it and dare to come to Punk Hazard with such a big fanfare? Guy couldn't help but feel an uncontrollable panic in his heart. He felt that Joker knew too much. It's time. Dover didn't care what Guy thought. The line he just released had reached the bottom of Punk Hazard. Dover immediately pulled his hands, and a huge eye force spread from his line to the bottom of Punk Hazard. Boom. The earth cracked suddenly. He gave out a painful roar. The rocks are falling apart, the trees are falling, and the waves are tumbling like a doomsday scene. Tsunami. Earthquake. God, what happened to Punk Hazard? Those who were fighting on the coast, whether they were seamen or pirates, stopped their movements at this moment. They looked at their surroundings in a dazed but anxious manner, as if they were apocalyptic. Rumbling rumbling. Suddenly, the earth shook violently again. Immediately afterwards, let all the seamen and pirates present, an unforgettable scene happened. I saw that a huge gap appeared in the central area of Punk Hazard. The violent currents poured in frantically, making the only outer coast of Punk Hazard that was crumbling and shaking, seeming to be dumped at any time. And the central area of Punk Hazard, the land that contains all the important equipment of the government, and the almost completed pacifists, is suspended in the air. And, it is still rising to a higher sky. The central area of Punk Hazard rose to the sky at a very fast speed. Everyone can't see Dover's line. In their eyes, Punk Hazard seemed to be dragged by an inexplicable and magnificent force, which made their hearts throb. Someone trembled. Is it the power of the gods? For the first time in my life, I saw such scenes, and the shock and panic were indescribable. What god? Someone is clearly making a ghost. However, unlike those ignorant marines, Kazaru knows that all this must be caused by the mysterious person hidden in the depths of the dark clouds. It used a method that even Kazaru can't see to take the entire punk hazard away. Ambition is really big. Such a fanfare action really doesn't put the old man, in my eyes. Rao is Kazaru who has always been lazy and indifferent to everything. At this time, his heart was a little angry. The other party knew that he was on punk hazard and dared to act like this, obviously when he Kazaru didn't exist. The most important thing is that in the research institute where the land was taken away, Kazaru also paid a certain price and managed to create a successful pacifist. What Kazaru said, can't let these really be taken away. Even if that person is really four emperors, Kazaru will let him taste the price of underestimating himself. The next moment, Kazaru didn't bother to entangle with Jack anymore. He summoned the Sky Cloud Sword and smashed Jack away with a single sword. Immediately afterwards, Kazaru jumped and shouted into the sky. Those are important research results of the world government. Your Excellency is so exposed, but the old man can't ignore it. Kazaru is holding the Sky Cloud Sword, and his whole body is exuding golden light. Although it is described as awkward, there is a majesty that cannot be taken lightly at this time. Under the shining of Kazaru's rays, the spirits of those sea soldiers who had lost their minds were shocked. With your Lord Admiral, even if you are a real god, don't be afraid. A seaman captain said loudly, For ordinary people, the strength of Marine Admiral is indeed no different from that of gods. The sea soldiers were all shook their spirits and looked at their mighty admiral. And those of Jack's subordinates had no way of retreating because they were afraid that the ship would be overturned by the tsunami. At the same time, they were worried about the safety of Lord Jack, so they also retreated temporarily. Jack pushed away the subordinates who helped him up. There were no less than a dozen wounds on his body, bloody, and it looked quite horrible. If it weren't for the ancient species of mammoth, it would far exceed the strong resilience of ordinary zone, Jack would have long been unable to hold it. But at this point, Jack can no longer stop Kazaru. Kazaru jumped into the air and stared at the depths of the dark clouds. Soon he put away the sky cloud sword and crossed his hands. The whole person turned into a huge cross light source, which brightened the dim sky a lot. In the dark clouds, seeing Kazaru's posture, Guy was so frightened, his body trembled, and he stammered. Master Joe Joker, let's go quickly, 
Huang Kazaru is catching up. Guy was shocked because Joker wanted to take the entire punk hazard away. But he was even more afraid of Kazaru's attack at this time. He knew that Kazaru must be preparing a big move. If he did not leave, he would definitely be shot into a sieve. Bachi Chong Guyu? Dover looked. A battalion indifferent towards Kazaru. It's just right, you can use it to try his power. Guy Sajung was anxious because Joker didn't take his advice. Suddenly, he suddenly realized that there was another person beside him. Guy was taken aback. He was surprised to find that this person was tall, but his expression was dull and his eyes were dull, like a puppet. But something that shocked Guy even more happened. Suddenly, the whole body of the man began to discharge, and electric currents of billions of volts flowed through his whole body. Thunder and lightning. Guy dropped his chin and his chin was almost shocked, and he hurried away from the man. Compared to Kazaru's light, thunder and lightning are equally scary, okay? The person who discharges is naturally Enel controlled by the Dover puppet line. Under Dover's transformation, Enel has greatly improved both the discharge speed and the discharge voltage. Moreover, under the guidance of Dover, the power of thunder and lightning also possesses all kinds of incredible powers. I saw a violent current surging through Enel's body, and under the conduction of the Dover alloy wire, it covered the entire sky with dark clouds in the blink of an eye. Spiritual time. The sky was already gloomy, but dark clouds were surging, electric snakes wandered in it, and the sound of thunder sounded, as if it was containing an ultimate thunderstorm. Earlier, Dover used a large-scale thunderstorm towed from a small island in New World to make Garp and Crane who went to Dressrosa to find faults. Now, Dover doesn't need to pull the thundercloud anymore, he can create a huge thunderstorm himself. The sky, this sudden change made all the pirates and seamen below look pale. Just now, it's just a dark cloud, how can there be such a terrifying thunder in the blink of an eye? In the face of this colossal Tianwei, the marines even doubted whether their admiral's strength really had the power to resist the gods as they had previously thought? Now, Kazaru's heart was also raised for this sudden change. I thought that his big move would definitely make the opponent look good, at least it could break the dark clouds and prevent the opponent from taking Punk Hazard away. No, the other party seems to have the ability to control lightning. Where is it sacred? Kazaru was extremely puzzled, even four emperors Kaido could not control such a terrifying thunder. But this is the end of the matter, and Kazaru has no reason to give up halfway, his preparations are over. Bachi Chong Guyu. Kazaru shouted, countless golden lights of Madara, like rain, shot densely toward the dark clouds where Dover was. When Dover saw this, he sneered, and controlled the endless thunder as well. Thunderbolt. Thousands of thunders fell at the same time, and it was hard to describe the magnificence of those scenes. Even if Kazaru saw it, his face changed drastically. His eight-foot Chong Guyu only offset a small part of the opponent's thunder, and more thunder slammed directly at him. It's terrible. This sentence, Kazaru said this sentence again, but from the heart. Under the bombardment of the endless thunder, Kazaru was unable to stop the fate of Punk Hazard being taken away. Not only that, the only outer coast of Punk Hazard was also completely shattered under the bombardment of the thunder. Ah, save, save me. The people below cried and cried, and many of them were directly chopped into coke. Get on the boat and get out of here, Jack roared. He is also a joker, and he can actually control the sky thunder, and he is shocked. Taking advantage of joker's thunder, Marine was overwhelmed, but he had to leave quickly. Otherwise, once Kazaru is relieved, it will be difficult for him to leave. Above the sky, the thunder continued, but the dark cloud where Dover was, and the punk hazard that was caught by him, were long gone. And punk hazard's original boundary has completely become a huge, empty gap. Endless ocean currents poured in violently, forming a huge, frantically rotating Uzumaki, and all the marine warships staying in the surrounding ports were swept in. What the hell did you do, Kazaru, Marine Headquarters, Marineford? The Marshal's office uttered a loud roar, the entire marine headquarters was shaken violently. 
What is even more shocking is that the person being trained turned out to be one of Marines' highest combat power, Admiral Kazaru. This was simply unimaginable in the past, because, although Admiral is nominally under the Marshal, but generally speaking, the Marshal will not blame Admiral. After all, Admiral's strength and Marshal are at the same level, and it is difficult to say which one is strong and which is weak. But today, Marshal Sengoku, who has always been calm and wise, turned out to be really angry with Kazaru Admiral. Marine Ford's Marines looked at each other, all holding their breath, not even breathing loudly, for fear of touching the mold of Marshal Sengoku. They knew Marshal Sengoku, why, 660, made such a big fire. The reason is that a few days ago, the government's extremely important secret research base, Punk Hazard, along with all the important equipment on it, including the super weapon pacifist that was almost completed, was destroyed by the subordinates of four emperors Kaido, Jack the Drow, and S. The entire island disappeared, leaving only a huge Uzumaki. Not only that, more than a dozen warships and marines on it that stayed around the punk hazard port were all swept in by Uzumaki. In the end, surviving punk hazard and returning to the marine headquarters, there was only a tattered, crumbling warship, and Admiral Kazaru on it, plus a few sea soldiers who were scared and almost frightened. Such a tragic result is extremely rare in the history of Marine and even the world government. Such explosive news spread all over the sea at a crazy speed in just a few days. The prestige of Marine and the majesty of the world government caused an irreparable and huge blow. The consequence of this is that many large and small forces in the underground world that were previously photographed by Marine's strength have also begun to move around. New World, IWC. This is where the Four Emperors Pirate Group is located. When the ant saw the news, especially the words Kaido in the newspaper, she couldn't help laughing sharply, and said to the Kata Curry and other children beside her. Kaido, that old immortal, really will toss, ha ha ha. I am jealous, then we can't fall behind, Kata Curry, you go and destroy the nearest marine base. Yes, mother. The two sons with a grim expression, Kata Curry, who is capable of glutinous rice fruit, agreed, turned and left. A beautiful island. Here is the sphere of influence of the new four emperors and red hair pirates. When everyone at red hair pirates heard the news of the destruction of Punk Hazard, Someone laughed and gloated at Marine's loss. Some people are curious, but I don't know why Kaido, the beast, suddenly went crazy, so cruel to the government. Only two of them were contemplative. The two are Captain Shanks, and Deputy Captain Ben Beckman. Do you think it's not that simple, Beckman? Beckman nodded. As the think tank of red hair pirates, he has an extraordinary brain. He exhaled a thick smoke, and slowly said, the world government has always concealed such incidents that undermine their prestige. Although this incident was too serious to hide it at all, Marine must have concealed some of the facts. Beckman deserves to be a person of superior wisdom, and one word tells the key point. Yes. Shanks sighed, with a hint of worry in his eyes. He always felt that the nearest sea was more uneasy than ever. The Moby Dick. This is known as the strongest man in the world, the main ship of Whitebeard. At this time, Marco, the captain of the squadron, ran to Whitebeard with a smile. Father, big news. Have you heard about Punk Hazard? Gudong Gudong. Whitebeard drank a bowl of wine, and laughed loudly. Now, enough for the old Sengoku boy to have a headache. At this time, Whitebeard's physical condition is much better than that of the top war four or five years later, but he has also sporadically inserted a few tubes. When the news of the destruction of Punk Hazard shook all parts of the world, there was an extremely secretive guardian, and it was impossible for outside news to flow in. A man with a cruel sneer on his face also knew the news. Ha 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 heavenly yaksha, you finally did not disappoint Lousy. He gave out this gloomy sneer, and knew that the man behind the destruction of Punk Hazard was Dover who turned out to be the former seven warlords of the sea, the Sand Crocodile Crocodile. After Crocodile bowed his head to Dover, he had a scene with Virgo in Alabasta, and then he was sent to the sixth floor of Impelled Down in this great underwater prison. Although he was wearing sea stone handcuffs on his wrists, when Virgo personally sent him in, 
he had already given him the key. In other words, Crocodile can go out at any time. But he was waiting, waiting for the man to give him an order. Crocodile is really curious. When that order is issued, what kind of huge hole will this world be pricked by the man who is far above him? It should be, it will be several times bigger than the destruction of Punk Hazard, right? Not only are the big figures of New World, there are also many forces in the world who want to take this opportunity to take the next step. In short, an undercurrent of unpredictable scale is surging in the dark world, and the entire sea is showing a stormy situation. It is no wonder that Sengoku could not control his temper for a while and reprimanded Kazaru. And Kazaru, who had never had it before, showed a trace of shame on his face. Sorry, Mr. Sengoku, I was careless this time. Kazaru was really careless. When he felt abnormal at first, because of his confidence in his own strength, he didn't care much. 4.6. And he didn't even expect that the strength of the person hiding behind the scenes would be so terrifying that even he could not stop it. Seeing Kazaru admit his mistake, Sengoku couldn't help sighing deeply. He knows that Kazaru can't be blamed for this. The kind of situation that no one would have thought of, even if it is oneself. It will not change the fate of Punk Hazard being taken away. Rubbing his eyebrows vigorously, Sengoku forced himself to calm down, staring at Kazaru, and said, Tell me more specifically about the situation that day, Kazaru. The news from the outside world, as Beckman expected, was of course cut off by the cabinet. After all, the government can't say that Punk Hazard was destroyed, but they don't even know who the real enemy is. Will the world laugh out loud? The world government still wants to preserve the last bit of hypocrisy as much as possible. Kazaru explained in great detail what happened in Punk Hazard that day. In the marshal's office, beside Sengoku, there are two other admiral, Akainu and Ching. And, Vice Admiral Garp and Chief Staff Officer Crane. The Punk Hazard incident was too serious, and even five elders had already held Sengoku accountable. Sengoku had to gather all the top combat forces in the headquarters for a meeting. When Kazaru said that the sky above Punk Hazard was enveloped by a dark cloud, Aokiji frowned and looked a little solemn. It seems that the mysterious man is indeed a terrible guy. Changing the weather, and even making the sky change abnormally, can only be done by the strong on the top of the world. The few people present didn't think about Jack, Jack was just a means by Marine to preserve his face and fool the outside world. After all, even though Jack is the three plagues and the bounty exceeds one billion, he is not yet qualified to make a Marine Admiral suffer such a big setback. When Kazaru said that Punk Hazard was lifted into the sky by a mysterious method, Garp, who was eating Senbei, contemplated for a while. This method is a bit like Golden Lion Shiki's ability. Speaking of it, Golden Lion has been out of prison for almost 16 years. I really don't know where he has gone all these years, and what hell plans he is thinking about. Speaking of Golden Lion, even if the few people present are all Admiral class combat power, Eleven can't help but feel shocked. Because, that Golden Lion is one of the three great pirates who are both Legendary and Roger and Whitebeard. Sengoku also frowned and said, if it is really a Golden Lion, then it will be troublesome. Although, more than 10 years ago, he and Garp joined forces to send the Golden Lion to the Great Undersea Prison. But Sengoku also has to admit that Golden Lion is an extremely terrifying and difficult character. At this time, Kazaru talked about the last thousands of ways, making his eight-foot Chonggu Jade seem insignificant. The court suddenly became silent. They can imagine that kind of terrifying scene of dark clouds all over the sky and thousands of thunder falling at the same time. Such a terrible person who is extremely harmful to the world must be eradicated as soon as possible. Admiral Akainu clenched his fist and said solemnly. That's what I said. Sengoku sighed. We don't even know who the other party is. Akainu snorted coldly. Since Jack the Drow is there and covering for him, it must be inseparable from Kaido, the beast. Several people present were quite clear about this. But how is it clear? Kaido was originally the enemy of the government and Marine. If Marine could help Kaido, he would have done it a long time ago. Moreover, Kaido is basically in Wanokuni nowadays. 
If Marine wants to defeat that dangerous terrain and closed country, at least half of its troops will be deployed. At that time, the headquarters will be empty, the guards of the Holy Land Mariajoy will be empty, the other four emperors of the New World and the vicious big pirates will certainly not let this opportunity pass. Therefore, even if Marine knows that Kaido must be one of the main agents behind the punk hazard incident, but it still doesn't make any difference. Suddenly, Crane, who had not spoken, said suddenly. Thunder bombardment? Garp, do you remember? We encountered this situation when we went to Dressrosa. Garp's action of eating Senbei was stagnant, and then his face became a little difficult to look. You said that bastard heavenly Yaksha, damn it, the old man hasn't counted with him last time. Seeing Garp, who always laughed, was so annoyed at a Shichibukai, Aokiji couldn't help being extremely curious. It turned out that Garp and Crane, after experiencing the embarrassment last time, didn't say anything at all. Therefore, apart from Sengoku, no one knew about it. Garp talked about the last time he went to Dressrosa with Crane. Aokiji listened, his eyes turned a few times, but he didn't comment and fell silent. Sengoku is the one who hates Heavenly Yaksha Doflamingo the most. Because, he was blackmailed twice by him twice in a row, extorting more than one billion baileys. In order to settle this account within Marine, God knows how much brain power Sengoku has spent to make five elders suspicious. Sengoku almost popped a few words from his teeth. Heavenly Yaksha, it may indeed be that mysterious person, but there is no conclusive evidence, and it appears that the punk hazard incident was done by Jack. We have no reason to move Shichibukai, and it is impossible for five elders to agree. The marshal's office fell silent again. Such a big event has happened, and they, as the highest level of marine, the world's top powerhouse, have a feeling of helplessness, or even powerlessness, which is really a weird and ironic thing. At the same time, Dressrosa. Dover, the culprit who made Marine's top powerhouses helpless and frustrated, is sitting on the high throne, enjoying the service of several beauties around him. Baby Five moves a pair of beautiful and smooth long legs, and will give Dover wine for a while, and wipe Dover with sweat that doesn't exist. On Dover's lap, he was sitting and eating grapes while staring angrily at Baby Five's sugar, his little mouth muttered softly from time to time. I know the shameless weapon girl who is dedicated to the young master. At the bottom right of Dover, there is also a chair. The intellectual and elegant Robin is holding a book and sitting there quietly reading. The sunlight coming in from the window wine fell on Robin's attractive figure, full of texture and luster, like a painting that shouldn't exist in the world. However, only Robin himself knows that the peaceful heart in the past is still unable to read a book today. It's all because that man came back. Robin sighed faintly, then simply put the book down, turned his beautiful eyes, and looked at the man who was more and more fascinated by her. Dover sensed Robin's gaze, tilted his head slightly, and glanced at him. Robin's face immediately showed a gentle but mischievous smile that was enough to eclipse Baihua. There was another woman who was as picturesque and white as snow, and it was Monet, Dover's secretary. Mo 669 replaced the original black dress and put on a white one piece dress with foundation, which made her look as holy and immaculate as a snow lotus. Young master, the people of CP0 have already paid the deposit. I hope you can hand over the things to them as soon as possible. Monet pushed the eyes on Joan's nose and said softly. Dover listened, and the corners of his mouth couldn't help but evoke an arc of ridicule. After the punk hazard incident, the world was shocked, and Sengoku and other marine executives were even more devastated. The world government, which should have been the most angry, was actually still secretly conducting transactions with Kaido. In addition, he looked impatient. When the people who were just CP0 met with Dover, they didn't even mention the half of Punk Hazard and Kaido, which is really hypocritical. However, since they were anxious to send money to Dover, Dover naturally had no reason to turn away. Now, after moving Punk Hazard to Sky Island, Smile Fruit immediately enters the state of research and development and production. At the same time, the secret weapons and technology gained from government research have also enabled Dover's weapons business to expand on an unprecedented scale. Dover needs more and more, 
a huge capital chain. Since they are in a hurry, then give it to them. Dover's dark pupils flashed with a deep meaning. I heard that CP0 recently recruited a new member, Shao Duo ha ha ha, they should send him to fetch it. The punk hazard incident continues to ferment around the world. The marine headed by Sengoku was helpless, and finally launched a few warships and went to Wanokuni to question the four emperors Kaido. The result was of course unsuccessful, but it also gave the world government an explanation. However, after this incident, the contradiction between marine and four emperors became more and more intense. In addition, the four emperors did not know what was going on, and suddenly attacked an important stronghold of marine in New World. Sengoku was furious again for this, and the relationship between marine and four emperors became even more intolerant, and there was even a faint sign of a terrible war that has never been seen in the world. However, these are not related to the root cause of all this, Dover's matter. Dover was sitting in a secret room in Dressrosa at this time. Under his feet, two figures were kneeling. A white cloak was shrouded in a CP0 costume like a white shinigami. A black silk mesh dress with bright red lips and flowing eyes. The former is Rob Lucci, the strongest former CP9 player who was subdued by Dover in the City of Seven Waters, while the latter is Khalifa who Ishin wants to win Dover's favor and gain Dover's trust. In the City of Seven Waters, Dover asks them to try their best to gain the trust of Celestial Dragons. After CP9 discussed with Changbing Mountain, the capital of Seven Waters, it successfully overshadowed the Pluton drawing. Rob Lucci also used Spandam, the CP9 chief who was controlled by Dover, to successfully gain the trust of a certain Celestial Dragons, after Dover used the system to increase his strength, Rob Lu Chi has successfully become a full member of CP0. As for Khalifa and the other CP9 members, they are still CP0 reserve members, but they can also freely enter and leave the Holy Land Mariajoy. Master Joker Lu Chi knelt on the ground religiously and knocked his head to the ground. When he learned that the man behind the punk hazard incident was the man in front of him, Lucky's loyalty to Dover became more profound. At this moment, even if there is no parasite string in control of his life and death, he does not want to betray Dover. Because he is a bloodthirsty and killer, instead of killing civilians for the world government as before. How can there be such a stimulus to be loyal to Lord Joker and start with the noble world government? Lu Chi went on to say, I have successfully gained the trust of Chao Roth, and I have also joined CP0, you can give me any instructions you have next. Dover couldn't help showing a hint of playfulness. It seemed that Rob Lucci, who had a beast in his heart, couldn't wait to attack the supreme celestial dragons. Khalifa hurriedly said at this time, Master Dover, although I haven't officially joined CP0, I have gained a certain amount of trust from Zaloria. Charulia and Charos are a family. Their father is Rosevard, both are arrogant and cruel. They treat everyone except celestial dragons as worms and like to be slaves. Thinking of this family, Dover's eyes could not help but darken, he said lightly. You did a good job, continue to gain more of their trust, and it would be better to bring Roswald in. Rosevard is a veteran celestial dragons. There is also a certain influence in celestial dragons. It is much better to control him than to control his two children. Yes. Lord Joker, Rob Luke respectfully took the lead. Unlike Khalifa, Rob, Ishin wants to get closer to Dover. Lu Chi prefers to call Dover Lord Joker, which gives him the pleasure of being in the dark. Khalifa's eyes flashed anxiously, looking at Master Dover's appearance, it was obvious that he valued Lu Chi more. Khalifa was a little unwilling, obviously she was the first to submit to Lord Dover, and among the few people in CP9, she was definitely the most loyal to Lord Dover. Khalifa's mind turned quickly, and she absolutely couldn't let Lu Chi steal her limelight. JD, she really remembered one thing, Master Dover. There was joy on Khalifa's face, her upper body leaned forward, her silk mesh top was stretched a lot, and she was even more glamorous. I have seen that a king of the dark world has had contact with CP0, she is probably the undercover agent buried in the dark world by the world government. Oh? 
Dover's eyes flashed and he had guessed who Khalifa was referring to. Khalifa saw Master Dover showing an interested look, and even more energetic. That is Queen of the Pleasure District, Stussy. Sure enough, Dover said in his heart, Stussy is also a member of CP0, with extraordinary strength. In the original book, at the tea party of the Ant Pirates, he killed the King of Lone Sharks with a single blow with finger pistol. If this woman has the opportunity to fall, she might as well conquer one or two and let her become her own spy against the government. If you don't obey, kill it, the province will always stare at yourself in the dark world in the future. After thinking for a while, Dover dismissed Ra Baluchi and Khalifa. Then, Lu Chi and the two went to the Dressrosa underground factory to receive the seastone weapons sent by Wanokuni. At the same time, large sums of funds and even various rare resources brought by the world government were left behind. As the middleman, Dover naturally unceremoniously intercepted a large portion, and only sent a small portion to Kaido and Orochi. However, this small part alone is enough to make Kaido and Ozna overjoyed. After Ra Baluchi and Khalifa left, Dover went straight to Sky Island. This Sky Island was the place above Gaia Island, and was dragged by Dover to the sky above Dressrosa. Punk Hazard was put on this Sky Island by Dover. The surrounding area is surrounded by the Sea of Clouds, and Dover's birdcage covers it, isolating everything from detection, it is almost impossible for anyone to discover. When Dover set foot on Sky Island, the Aborigines on Sky Island immediately bowed down to Dover. Dover defeated Enel, and they spontaneously supported Dover as the new god of Sky Island, and Ganfor was the god's steward. Dover came to Punk Hazard's place. Above it, there are not only several research institutes of marine, but also a large group of small human races, excited and full of motivation to plant certain plants. Clan people are very happy. The little human princess man Shirley, sitting on Dover's shoulders, said with a blushing face. After all, it's the first time everyone has come to this kingdom of God. In the eyes of man Shirley and other villains, the magical Sky Island is undoubtedly the kingdom of gods, and the god in charge here is naturally the man next to him. Man Shirley glanced at the man shyly, and her heart fluttered. Master young master, I really don't know how to thank you. Because the longer she spent with Monet and other women, Man Shirley also changed her name to Dover to the young master like all the women. Dover smiled slightly. The villains regarded Sky Island as a brand new virgin land, but they worked their energies to plant smiles for him. When Dover came to the research institute, Guy rushed to Dover immediately, and smiled coquettishly. Wang Wang's, Master Joker, you are here. After seeing Dover making a big shot of Kamui that day, and even Marine Admiral Kazaru was defeated, Guy was so afraid of Dover. Dover pointed out that he didn't dare to go west, and he was extremely obedient and obedient. Guy, I need you to develop a drug that people can enjoy but can't get rid of. Dover ordered directly. For Guy saw, who is greedy for life and fear of death, he doesn't need to hum. Guy stunned after hearing the words, this kind of medicine is not a good thing, what is Joker going to use it for? But Guy Sako dare not ask more, just because Guy Saw is good at this kind of evil medicine. Guy immediately patted his chest to ensure that it won't be long before he can successfully develop it, and the effect is absolutely top-notch. If Guy knows that this evil drug he is going to develop will be sold to whom, I am afraid that he will be scared to death on the spot. Because what Dover intends to reach this time is the celestial dragons who are said to be the founder and the world can only look up to, living in the holy land Mariajoy. One month passed in a blink of an eye. In the past month, there has been no big news that shocked the world like the punk hazard incident. However, the sea is not as calm as before. Many ambitious people want to take advantage of the increasingly tense situation between marine and four emperors to expand their interests. There are also many new generation pirates who have begun to rise. Among them, the most dazzling person is actually Portka's Dace, who was influenced by Dover, followed Garp for two months, and then sneaked out to sea. Because of his young age, he became the master of armed color, observation hockey, 
and Ace was even invited by Marine and exceptionally to be seven warlords of the sea to fill the vacancy of the sand crocodile. But Ace unceremoniously refused. Ace's goal is New World, but Whitebeard is recognized as the strongest in the world. Then, Ace has to challenge the man who crushed him easily. That man, Ace now knows his name, Shichabukai, Heavenly Yaksha, Doflamingo. At this moment, Ace was lying on a small boat with a straw in his mouth, mumbling Dover's name. Ace's eyes are no longer full of innocence and childishness like the first time they saw Dover. However, there is still a high spirit of fighting spirit. The sailing adventures these days have allowed Ace to grow a lot. However, if 663 were to let others know that Ace had to challenge Whitebeard first and then Doflamingo, it would definitely feel strange. Because of those two people, one is known as the strongest four emperors, and the other is just Shichibukai. However, only Ace, who has seen Dover once, knows that the man's capacity is definitely not a small area that Shichibukai can accommodate. As for the other end, when Garp learned that Ace had used the hockey he had taught him, he almost got a cerebral hemorrhage, so he didn't need to repeat it too much. New World, Happy Street, this is a man's paradise, and this is a wanderer's dream. On the street, the decoration of the golden jewelry lane is gorgeous and extraordinary. On both sides, there were brothels and casinos, and the smiling women greeted guests with heavy makeup, gorgeously dressed, and powdery gas everywhere. Here, there are countless men and women coming and going every day, and dozens of millionaires are born every day, as well as thousands of paupers with no money left. The millionaire is still a guest on Happy Street. Pauper will be swept out mercilessly. Here, only money is supreme. Even people with a certain background and strength will still be swept into the trash can without money. And those who have been swept into the trash can, even if they hate Happy Street, dare not take any revenge. Because, countless unlucky people who wanted to take revenge on Happy Street before, without exception, all died without a whole body, have long proved that behind Happy Street, there is a huge umbrella that ordinary people can't imagine. And the boss of Happy Street, that small and sweet queen, is also a cruel and terrifying woman. The name of Queen of the Pleasure District is Stussy. At this time, Stussy was sitting on the largest and most luxurious joy field on Joy Street, with a mysterious and seductive smile on her small red lips. She wore a small white windbreaker on her upper body and a small white round hat with flowers on her head, she looked pure and pleasant. But the pointed red dress, which tightly wrapped her perfect figure with bumps, showed a special charm. It's just that, on Stussy's white onion jade fingers, the red nails shining dangerously make her look like a poppy flower. Although it is extremely attractive, no one dares to approach it. Even the few kings of the dark world who are sitting at the same table with Stuss at the moment, although they are about to move in their hearts, they dare not make the slightest offense. Ha 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 ha, Stuss, I have a big news here, do you want to know? An old man with big ears and a cigar said loudly, trying to attract Stussy's attention. He is the king of loan sharks, the god of good fortune, do and Feld. Stussy glanced at Feld with a pair of bewitching eyes, her red lips curled up with a charming smile. Really? Lord Feld, you really deserve to be the king of loan sharks. Feld was fascinated by Stussy's smile. Before Stussy acts, he couldn't wait to tell the big news. It turned out that it was a big pirate with a bounty of 200 million, preparing to attack a certain base in Marine. This information can be called B Beg, but Stussy, who is a CP0 secret spy, is completely despised. Illustration But Stussy didn't say anything, but thanked Feld. The blood in Feld's body immediately accelerated several times. Next to him, the other kings of the Dark World, how could Feld monopolize the limelight, and hurriedly disclosed all the important information of his master. Stussy listened playfully, several dark kings were jealous for her, and even said how much money he had, such an extremely secret thing, as if to show off. On the other side, Stussy was using his spare time at the same time, looking at the whole happy field. The happy field is still as lively as before, but Stussy always has a weird feeling, Today's happy field seems to have a depressive atmosphere. Depressed? How can you be depressed in such a drunken entertainment venue? 
Stussy was quite strange, but she didn't doubt whether she felt wrong. Because people like her, who carry out espionage missions all the year round, believe in their sixth sense most. Stussy's eyes were extremely sharp and accurate, and he did not miss everyone on the happy field. Finally, Stussy's beautiful eyes suddenly stopped on a stalwart figure. The moment he saw that figure from behind, Stussy felt a sense of slumber. It's him, definitely this person. Stussy's heart jumped, and she felt that the source of the depression in the joy field was found. However, Stussy hesitated for a moment. With his unique and accurate sixth sense, Stussy faintly knew that this person might not be able to solve it at all. After a few rapid rotations of his brain, Stussy decided in the end that he had to try it out anyway, otherwise he would definitely have trouble sleeping and eating. She stood up, picked up the pink packet next to her, took a graceful step, and walked towards the stalwart figure. Several blushing dark kings who were arguing because of Stussy suddenly realized that the beauty ran away without saying hello, and they were all stunned for a while. After being dumbfounded, there was a burst of anger. Are they still a hero, a big boss in the dark world? How can they tolerate being so contemptuous? So, the few people looked at Stuss together angrily. When it was discovered that Stuss was walking towards another man, the anger in his heart was even greater. Stuss, if you still want to get news from Lousy in the future, please come back to Lousy as soon as possible. The king of Lone Shark felled, screamed and shocked the whole happy scene. But Stussy didn't seem to have heard her, and she didn't pause. Stussy came to the side of the stalwart back and put the pink packet on the chair there, with a sweet and intoxicating smile on her face. Sir, don't you mind if I sit here? After speaking, without waiting for the man to answer, he took a scent of fragrance and sat down directly. However, when she saw the man's evil face and the deep black eyes that almost imprinted on her soul, the sweet smile on Chow's face immediately froze. It turned out to be you, Lord Joker. For a long time, Stussy suppressed the shock in his heart and exhaled. Dover drank lightly, and glanced at the poppy woman who was surrounded by enchanting and pure and strange. After the initial shock, the woman quickly calmed down, and the usual sweet and seductive smile appeared on her face. Dover nodded secretly. Stussy deserves to be one of the kings of the dark world, the queen of the pleasure district, and its ability to control emotions is indeed quite impressive. Of course, this is only because Stussy thought Dover was the original dark middleman Joker. Stussy, it's been a long time it's been a long time. As a middleman in the dark, Dover had naturally seen Stussy before. Otherwise, at that time, he didn't know the true identity of Stussy. He was the spy of CP0. Stussy quickly sorted out the shock of seeing Dover, and she quickly looked at the man in front of her, imperceptibly. Haven't seen him for many years, this man is very different from her previous impression of him. He is still so evil, but he is not as arrogant as before, but has become plain. But it was this dullness that made Stussy's precise sixth sense aware of a trace of horror and throbbing. Stussy didn't dare to neglect in her heart, she keenly sensed that there must be a huge secret in this man. If this secret can be tested out, then she will receive an unprecedented rich reward from the world government. Master Joker, it's really annoying that I haven't seen people for so long. Stussy's voice is whispering, and her small and flawless face is full of medical complaints. The exquisite body wrapped tightly in the red skirt, weakly leaning on Dover's shoulder, even the fragrance from his red lips blew onto Dover's face. The corner of Dover's mouth conjured up a sneer. This woman is indeed a rare stunner, but, facing him, do you still want this kind of boring trick? Seeing the sneer at the corner of Dover's mouth, Stussy gave a dilemma. She didn't know if Dover saw that she was acting, or something else. Just as Stussy's brain was spinning fast, thinking about what to do next. Not far away. There was a loud noise. Stussy, you really don't take our great kings in your eyes. It turned out that the few kings of the dark world who were left in place by Stussy were completely angry. Feld kicked the table in front of him to pieces, his eyes fixed on Stussy, and the back of the man carrying them. When they saw that they had paid a huge price, Stussy, who hadn't even made it one step closer, leaned on the man's shoulder so easily, 
and the anger and jealousy in his heart almost broke through reason. The great dark world kings headed by Feld walked aggressively towards Stussy and the man he was leaning on, looking like they were looking for something. In the happy field, everyone was shocked by this scene. Especially seeing Feld, who are all the top bosses in the dark world, was shocked. They are all the kings of the dark world. These kings of the dark world are looking for trouble with Queen of the Pleasure District Stussy? Even if Stussy has a monstrous background, facing the anger of several great kings, I guess he can't bear it? Look, Stussy is still leaning on a man's arms. Ha ha ha, it turns out to be a love rival, now that man is going to be unlucky. The people on the fun field are no longer entertained, and they also pick up the mentality of watching a good show, and watch the great dark kings closely, how to teach Stussy, especially the man. After all, men who can make a beauty like Stussy lean in their arms are also very jealous. Stussy heard Feld's roar, but his heart moved, and even more so, he took the entire petite and exquisite body into Dover's arms. With her big watery eyes open, like a frightened bird, she said pitifully. Master Joker, they are here to seek revenge, they want to kill me, you can't save me. The look I feel pity, even if it is an Iron Man, it will soften. However, Dover didn't even change his expression, and his body did not move. Seeing such a beautiful woman begging so softly, the man seemed to be dumb and motionless. There are people who have a crush on Stussy on the field, and they can't help but feel angrily. Stussy's vision is too bad, he would actually like such a man. Some people secretly pondered whimsical thoughts, if I save the queen of the pleasure district later, will she ever fall in love with me, ha ha ha. People have different minds, and Stussy is actually, a little upset and confused. She looked at the man's indifferent expression close at hand, and thought. In the face of a beautiful person like himself, for the first time in his life, he gave his arms and hugged and axed softly. In addition, the power of those great dark kings is not weak, especially when a few people add up, even Stussy, who is backed by the world government, is very jealous. And this man, even if he is Shichibukai, even if he is a middleman in the dark, doesn't he have any scruples? Stussy couldn't figure it out, she decided that if the man did not respond later, she would leave by herself, she didn't want to really bear the anger of the great dark kings. At this time, Feld and the others were already close to Dover's back, nearly ten paces away. Stussy was about to pull away and flash, suddenly, she saw the man frown, an indifferent and concise vocabulary, and said from her mouth. Roll. The moment the indifferent voice was uttered, a majestic momentum suddenly descended on the happy field. People were amazed and didn't know what happened. But they were even more surprised. The man who Stussy was leaning against, dared to let the Dark Kings go? Does he not know, what kind of person he is talking to? Those great Dark Kings are usually the guests of the four emperors. Feld's few people also had green veins on their foreheads exposed. They didn't expect that Stussy would take them lightly. After all, Stussy had an amazing background and his own strength was not weak. But Stussy's man is actually even more arrogant than Stussy. That is not just contempt, but contempt, contempt for their great dark kings. For flowers, Feld several people were outraged, but they wanted to see, who made Stussy hug and dared to let them go, who is the sacred man. However, the next moment, the faces of several people changed suddenly. Suddenly they found that there was an extremely heavy pressure on their bodies, as if they had been crushed by a mountain. What's the matter? Feld and the others looked at each other with horror in their hearts, and immediately looked at Dover's back in anger. Asshole, did you do it? Unfortunately, Dover simply ignored them. Feld and the others were even more furious. They wanted to find Dover to settle the accounts, but as soon as they lifted their feet, the pressure on their bodies suddenly increased several times. Ah, my spine. One of the Dark Kings screamed, but his spine was crushed by the huge pressure. The people on the fun field are inexplicably horrified. Obviously, the great dark kings are coming fiercely, looking for someone to settle the accounts. But at a distance of ten steps from that man, he couldn't make any progress anymore. One of them even suddenly shattered his spine and fell to the ground. 
This is too weird, right? Someone swallowed and said in horror, it's ghosts, the power of ghosts and gods. Everyone couldn't help panicking. Only sitting in Dover's arms, Stussy knew that there were ghosts and gods, it was clear that this man just spilled a trace of hockey. Stussy's beautiful eyes were filled with incredibleness at this time. Dover's hockey can actually kill a dark king, is this hockey still capable of this level? It is Stussy who has been in the dark world for so many years, and has never heard of such a terrifying thing. Just at the moment of panic, just when Feld's great dark kings could hardly bear the heavier pressure on their bodies. Dover lowered his head and looked at Stussy, whose pretty face was full of shock and horror in his arms, and no longer had the pretentious expression just now, and axed faintly. Silly tricks, have you played enough? Stussy trembled. The next moment, a huge power came from Dover. Under that unspeakable horror power, it seemed that the heavens and the earth turned into grayish white in an instant. Stussy's delicate body trembled even harder. She has never seen such a strong hockey, even the top powerhouses in the government, compared with this man's hockey, are insignificant. Stussy suddenly felt that his performance just now was a bit ridiculous. In the face of this man's incalculable measure, even if he can ask for the means of the Dark King, what is it? At the same time, under the sweep of Dover hockey, the fun field was quiet in an instant. Everyone fainted without any resistance and those so-called dark kings, in the incomparably screaming screams, the bones of their bodies were slightly shattered and turned into a pool of blood on the ground. 